Stevenson. Ingu picks out Mullen, he's well advanced. It's a good cross. Diving in there is Jimmy Walker. That is a lovely header. And Harps are in front. Great ball in from Fraser Mullen. And look at this for a header. And only got two wins in the last 13 matches. Really struggling for form. Both of those two wins have come against Hearts. Here's Walker, he's done really well to Rob Goncalves. Oh, Walker, oh, it's brilliant. In off the underside of the bar, Jamie Walker with his second goal for Hearts, the 19-year-old. Gary Fraser running into trouble, Jamie Walker with the interception, and Walker gets it back from Hamill. He's still going, oh, what a strike! Absolutely superb from Jamie Walker, he gave away the penalty, and he's made amends in some style. It's 1-1, and this from Walker, unstoppable. Aberdeen haven't even scored at Tynecastle in three and a half years. And since a 3-0 victory here in January 2010, it is not a happy hunting ground for them. This is Jimmy Walker! And Hearts in front! And you have to say against the run of play because Aberdeen have had the vast majority of possession. But this is already becoming classic Jamie Walker, cutting in from the left-hand side, and that's a great finish. Danny Wilson is the target, his header down, Jamie Walker is round, Jamie Langfield, and it's 1-1 at Pitodri. No one reacted quicker here than Walker. Walker wants it, he gets it, goes for the shot, or it's deflected and in. It picked up a little touch, but still goalkeeper Darren Jimerson shouldn't be being in his post. Half an hour played at Tynecastle, Hearts are two ahead. Just takes a little touch, but the goalkeeper should have stopped it. First minute. It's managing to win the aerial battle. It's Foster who tried to get on top of Keatings. Walker represents a more than decent outlet in Black. Penalty! Black's challenge! Penalty kick to Hearts! It's the former Jambo who has conceded it. Oh, another, another poor decision from a very experienced player. He goes crashing into the challenge. Walker just protecting the ball, that's all he's doing. He's running it towards the corner flag. Ian Plack's got to just stay up. He goes in the back, it may be a little bit soft. But he went bundling into the back of Walker. And he had been booked earlier, Ian Black, just the penalty. No additional card. And here it is, Jamie Walker! Perhaps to put the seal on an important Hearts victory. No, it's a composed finish. He's coolly slots it, waits for Simonson to make the move. Not only does he win the penalty, he scores it. Very calmly done. 21 year old could be proud of that finish. Stayed nice and calm. Jamie Walker, who has hearts in his blood. Contrasting emotions. Harry McCoist. It's Paul Hanlon slightly off balance. It falls for Eckersley. Walker now. Jamie Walker! Exquisite! Listen to the Gorgi roar! Oh, yeah.
yeah, oh, another. Belter from Walker. Hearts on level terms. And it's Eckersley into the path of Walker. He's looking for that inch of space. Just takes it to the side of Scott Allen. And what a wonderful, wonderful finish. He makes half a yard here. And it's a great strike. And Oxley has got no chance. Great strike. Lays up right in the side net. The ball's past Oxley as it hits the net. He's been in the wars, Walker. And another scorer gets booked. Well, we've seen that before, Gary. A booking after the fact, this time for Jamie Walker. His 100th career. New signing Gennaro Zifuk set up Jamie Walker. The youngster drilled the ball beyond Danny Rogers. And hearts were in dreamland. Well, it's off there, Akersen for Simmons, shot caught him. Walker, it's out of the box. There is a dress to Alison Hart. Jamie Walker, there is a merach board of a shin for Stephen Simmons. Shout, look at that heart. The Chivui Shachat and a Nadja Kunarta. There is a Walker, it's a finish. Stick in the box. There is a shall cheers going to be on a shin. The toss, the heart of a heart, the shidig. The merach board of a shot. For Simmons to Chavuil, the Walker, or a tax to Pierre Cahay and a show for Kunes, for Stolz to Sakuma, Megat, a stay for Simmons, he's Merach, Troch Verach, Fierch and the end of Ashka Benedictus, Etera Hain is Gordon, McDowell for a line, I guess, with Jamie Walker. <laughs> driving forward plays in Walker there's a poor first touch but he gets the break of the ball and Hearts take the lead Jimmy Walker number 8 for the season it was Eckersley with the run down the left hand side played the ball into Walker poor first touch but Declan Gallagher battered the ball off him contenders for my position I want all to show what I can do here is Sam Nicholson pick up a loose ball charging forward edge lock Sam Nicholson into Walker edge of the area Walker right foot shot it's into the bottom corner off the post and it's hard with all the in five Cowden beef nil we've got six and a half minutes left in this first half Jamie Walker's on fire it's goal number nine of the season and even as a jambo up here you're going to start to feel a bit sorry for Robbie Thompson that kind of beef defence well, it's five up and we've not even got to the 39th minute. Yep, it was a, it was a dreadful pass. We had the burn in the middle of the park. He tried to play it across the park. It was cut out. Hearts just then sliced Cowdenbeath open again. And I just watched Jimmy Nichol as he played that pass. <laughs> to have defeated Hearts in the league this season but the Tynecastle side were in no mood to allow a repeat performance and when Osman so escaped the attentions of Kieran Duffy he cut the ball back for Jimmy Walker who fired Hearts in front 28 minutes on the clock Walker on target with his 11th goal of the season and now the charge is on one man Superb work, Nicholson, down he goes, tripped up by Manus, penalty, fluency from Hearts, St Johnston just could not live with them. Yeah, Juan Mar, clever again, plays the ball to Nicholson at the right time, he just draws Manus, and it's a stonewall penalty. You think Juan Mar could release it earlier, but he just takes that extra touch and it's perfect for Nicholson. His first touch is a little bit heavy, but it actually lures Manus in just there. Yeah, and it's a penalty for me, Derek. 
Romanus now trying to deny Osman So from the penalty spot. Crucial moment in this game at Tynecastle. Here is Osman So, and Manus able to save it, but into the back of the net it goes. Well, Jamie Walker there to follow up, and Hearts have their seconds. Well on the way to an opening weekend victory. Yeah, poor Alan Manus, guess us right. Tommy Riker will be tearing his hair out. Fair play to Jamie Walker, he reacts first. But St Johnston defenders, they should be reacting a lot quicker and clearing that. Jamie Walker. in this first half and it paid off. The former Hearts player Conrad Balatoni upending Osman So. And up steps Jamie Walker, making no mistake with the subsequent penalty. The Harris fans feeling like they got what they deserved. Furnished Harris to pre shoot. Cora Machu Goladors. Tidak V. Better to Dan Loon, the shit skipper, the Ruglois Shadors. Cora Machu Shokita. Oh, Harris! A Harris is cheating on a S spot. It is the Kumar's power, the Beam. The Ruhura Deval in a live league. It is on the Brickle Gazula. A Harris is asking in the game. Like I said, Jamie Walker ahead, Lassen, Stach and Leonard United, the Shallagher, it's the huge winners in the Darn Lee, Madame McCran, a Pyag at the doors, and a Dickel Cora Mitchell, a Jamie Walker in Shelton Gave. Bobby Nielsen, Nielsen having signed a new two year deal this week. Boabin going into the box and he's pushed to the ground by Stuart Finlay and that's a penalty kick. No question about the decision. Arm on Boabin's back, he went to ground. Yellow card for Finlay. Walker with a penalty kick saved by McDonald off the post and looped back in by Jamie Walker. Hacks are ahead. And relief for Jamie Walker who saw his initial effort saved off the post. And then looped back. Not the best of connections, but the spin just took it over McDonald into the net. skill to beat the keeper and find the net Walker with his fourth goal in five games a real rising star of the Scottish game sent back by Suter but only to Lustig strong from Hanma and Jamie Walker what a start for Hearts! A fantastic finish to stun the champions! Five minutes in, Celtic nil, Hearts won! What a fabulous finish from Walker. I thought he might have taken it just a touch early. Celtic looking for a foul here on Sviatchenko, but I think it's quite right to play on. He faded to shoot. And then when he did pull the trigger, Great power, great accuracy, great control in the shot. Gordon's got no chance. That's the way to start a game when you're visiting Celtic Park. Jamie Walker with five goals in his last seven games. I think he's in a better celebration. It's Tony Watts, Jamie Walker, and a penalty for Hearts. Tierney. Caught him. Well, this is a loose ball. They've certainly got options there. Walker gets it. Tierney comes in. Claims innocence. I don't think there's any contact there at all. And it's Jamie Walker who is ready to take this.
Craig Gordon wasting a bit of time. He's going to get a yellow card there for stepping out towards the ball. Gordon booked, but will he have the last laugh here? It's Jamie Walker. It's never in doubt. Perfect penalty. Hearts are level. And this could become the Tyne Castle thriller. Love the way he handles the pressure. Team are one down here. This is very calm and composed. Sends Gordon the wrong way. Certainly very debatable how he won the penalty. But he got there. Was there any contact here at all? I don't think there was. He's won it there for Hearts. Walker. He's made the difference by completing the penalty and having... <laughs> Can we find a cross, Sam Nicholson? He has done as a good header, and it's in the net from Jamie Walker. And Hearts at last are on the score sheet. It's a third goal of the season for Jamie Walker, his second in the league. Sam Nicholson, the creator, and Jamie Walker is able to plant that beyond Remy Matthews, who really should have got a stronger hand to it. Don Suter into the feet of Robbie Muirhead. Latching on to Sam Nicholson, he's inside the box. Great chance, must be a penalty this time, and indeed it is. Craig Thompson has been under pressure to award the spot kick. And at last, he points to the spot. Hamilton Ackes feels Sam Nicholson went over too easily. Craig Thompson having turned down two or three penalty appeals. Simply couldn't turn another one away. There was definitely contact. Sam Nicholson might have embellished that. But a penalty kick it was. And there will be a chance now for Jamie Walker to score his second of the afternoon. It's Jamie Walker. Hearts are in front for the first time. Cool as you like from Walker, sending Matthews the wrong way. And it's four for the season now for Jamie Walker. Je tolde ik in de vlieuwde, moet hoor in deze nogal af van Rondolla gewaad. Jonas Jansen gaat alle keren begonnen gaan wie een woordje voor u. Ik zou nu eens de walker. Oh, spelen naar een goede shot is ja. Jimmy Walker, de kloei in de lijn geleerd nu. Ach, la gas, yes. Oh, hij shot de ja, kijk hoe lang ga. Kloei maar van van Björn Jansen hier is de lijn geleerd. I mean, Tony Water, Kelly and Lucy Vines. Walker, Puchtige Schach and the Puchkes. Jenna Malish. That's too much, Jenna Malish. I should have thought that I was going to be in the middle of the game. Kowie, Kowie, really like a Paris. I'm going to be in the middle of the game. Jerry Seaborn, I should have thought that I was Fysieke, Kerberach gewoon, vaak geworden, tuchtje om zeven mee. Ach, lekker kui, dat is jacht er, lekker kui. Ik is, ik kan niet meer verder stroegen. Woods maar ha, Le Walker, de oei, Paul maar ha, en nu Jimmy Walker, Paul Lille. Met Jimmy Walker. Gewoon nog te gaan woedens het en aag. Verder vast. Ze is Jack Leesch. Ach, zijn daar de deur is in het eerste tip. En Walker, ik ga heel goed in mij Hamilton. Tje van de sport. Tje van Boeien. Hamel. Losing out to Walker. It's Arno Jun. He's a player in the far side. It's Reres calling for it. But he uses Walker. Jimmy Walker. And Hearts are 3-0 in front. That just tops off an excellent afternoon for Walker. It's his third goal 
in two matches. It's his seventh of the season. And a fine strike across the goalkeeper. Jim will gather. Jonsson against Gonzalov. That's on to Walker. Walker was away from Gomez. He takes him down. Kevin Clancy points to the spot. Well, Gomez pleads his case. His fellow defenders certainly didn't. Missed the last time out against Ross County. But he's back to winning ways from the penalty spot. It's Jamie Walker. That is fifth successful penalty of the season. He earned the penalty. He scored the penalty. And Hearts are ahead at Dens Park after three minutes. for Hearts, Cowie for Walker, there it is, there it is, Jimmy Walker does it again, an 11th goal of a seriously profitable season, and that will ease some nerves, 1-0 Hearts. The frustrating thing for Gary Locke and for Wraith Rose is it's self-inflicted, it's a mistake in the midfield, Picked up by Don Cowie, it's a fantastic weighted pass through to Jamie Walker for his 11th goal of the season. He's composed for his one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. This pass here from Cowie. And gives the goalkeeper the eyes of this the near post. A fantastic finish. And no more than Hearts deserved, he would say, on the balance of play. He's just not missing. Jamie Walker. It's a cool finish as well. Yeah, it's a nerve settler. Eight minutes to half time. To equalise. Martin down the line for Walker. Jamie Walker's been very involved in this match. He goes down again in the box. It is a penalty again. Kyle Benedictus with the challenge. Walker bumping into him. Walker this time will take it from the spot and just beats Kevin Cuthbert. Hearts go ahead again in the extra time. Inside the area. Oh. The Rangers couldn't control it, and Walker... his body and Walker's on to him but what a strike cuts across the ball of the all at 25 yards does well to nick it off Halliday and it's only one thought in his mind and that is a stunning strike into the far corner all sorts of action on the ball Fodrigan no chance well just like in the first half Rangers give away a goal early another Rangers mistake another early goal They've got a mountain to climb now of Rangers, but wow, what a start from us, and what a finish. I mean, yes, you talk about the mistake, but what a finish that was, exceptional. Arch top scorer, Jamie Walker, it's 13th of the season, it's 6 in Protect it, Jonsson. Jolis, good experienced man to have. Controlling the tempo of the game, now Kelly, and that's a super ball. Just has to concentrate on the contact. 
Jamie Walker, and he rolls it in, and this is turning into a road, Terry. It is, a catalogue of mistakes from Rangers, gifting Hearts goals, another one on a plate there for Coach. Good scene for Hamilton. Walker's away from Scondras, and he's taken out, and that will be yellow. And a very inviting free kick opportunity for Hearts. It's Walker! It's brilliant! Right out of the top draw from Jamie Walker. And any doubts about the outcome at Tank Castle are removed now. Flicks it inside, Ishma picks up the loose ball, comes forward, nice little ball inside. Stock to finish. Touch. Walker, what a goal! What a goal from Hearts! Respond instantly from that disappointment of the penalty miss. It was a lovely ball and save from Ishma. Cole Stockton with the first time flicked around the side of him. Walker came in from that. the way through Sutter. Corner Randall. That's got plenty of players coming forward. Can salve his way. In advance of him is Lafferty. Lafferty tries to get away from Naismith and Fraser. Randall out wide. Jamie Walker with a chance. He's gone 18 games without a goal. Hart's top goal scorer from last season puts them out. Well, Lewis Moore on the start of the second half and he's followed by Scott McMahon and that will bring a free kick Hart's way. And set plays you'll feel in the second half will be vital for Hart's. This argument was a free kick. So it's going to be Walker against Woods. Jimmy Walker! Sumptuous! An unstoppable free kick into the top corner. And Hearts lead two minutes into the second half. The goalkeeper flew across the goal in vain and Jimmy Walker.